This week on Latter-day News. This is my mom. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> and then there's this guy. <clears throat> yeah, I'm afraid that's me. Piano guy Stephen Sharp Nelson talks about finding ancestors through music. Little sport. It's tough, it's physical, it's uh, mentally challenging. A professional rugby player puts his career on hold to go on a mission. But first, the headlines. That strength that they received from singing those spirituals, from testifying through speaking to Jesus all day is what carried them through, is what allowed them to survive. And because they survived, we're here now. In a recent Instagram Live, member Yahosh Bonner talks about Negro spirituals during Black History Month. He explains their importance and sings a few songs. My Lord, he calls me, he calls me by the thunder, the trumpet sounds within my soul. I ain't got long to stay here. I ain't got long to stay here. After flames destroyed an Oklahoma meeting house, the community stepped in to help. They inquired about the building fund, offered their own churches for members to meet, and firefighters salvaged several paintings of Christ and laid them carefully on the lawn. Please know you have the love and appreciation from President Nelson, the First Presidency, and the Quorum of the Twelve. Six young adult broadcasts, each led by an apostle, will start this February in multiple languages. Apostles will personally speak French, Spanish, and Portuguese for three of the events. It's, yeah, it's one of the best feelings, um, you know, hearing the crowd go off and then, you know, getting up off the floor and seeing the smile and joy on your teammates' face. It's pretty exciting and, and the feeling, yeah, you know, it's, it's pleasing, very pleasing. Will Hopoate will speak this month at Roots Tech Connect. Ten years ago, Will made national headlines, putting his professional rugby career on hold to serve a mission and turning down a $1.5 million contract. Yeah, to step away from the game rugby league, um, yeah, it would be pretty tough. Uh, walking away from money I could, you know, um, get to help support my family. But in saying that, I'm, you know, keen and excited to serve a mission and, um, you know, it's always been a dream of mine growing up as a kid, so um, I'll be blessed to have that opportunity. Today, the rugby star says he always had an opportunity to share the gospel. And that's the headlines. A lot of kids are going to learn about Jesus and I'm helping them. It just makes me feel so happy and proud of myself. It's just really cool to have this opportunity. Hi, Sister Jones, you really came! On February 20th, the first friend-to-friend -friend event for primary leaders, children, and their parents will be available online. Here is a look behind the scenes. This is so fun! The COVID pandemic canceled in-person primary, so the general primary presidency wanted to do something to reach out to all children. It will be a great blessing to children to remember that they are sons and daughters of our Heavenly Father, that they can feel His love, that they make a difference, that they're needed and remembered. Since we are children of God, we are never alone. After the first release in English, the event will be recorded in other languages and released in March. And now, Latter-day News ends with Piano Guy Stephen Sharp Nelson's TEDx talk. Stephen discussed how music could help you find someone you have lost, like his late mother. My mother is a soprano with the voice of an angel. And that voice for me is still sweet and rings with a resounding relevance. And as I play, I hope you can hear the voice of your own angel and let music find someone you've lost.
next week on Latter-day News. Since becoming president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, President Nelson is more future-oriented than ever. Sister Wendy Nelson talks about the prophet's first three years as president of the church. Come back every Friday for more Latter-day News.